Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphics Card Repairs. So today we have this Palette uh, RTX 3070 Jetstream and this card is reported as not getting detected. So uh, let's take some uh, measurements and check what we can find. So just move this camera a bit. So my multimeter is in focus. Okay, let's take the measurements. Okay, let's start with the 12 volt PCIe. And we have no shot here. Let's take a look at 3.3 volts. And we don't have a shot here. Let's take a look at the 8 pin. And it's about 100 ohms. Okay, this is not good. Let's check another pin. 100 ohms again. So it looks like we have a shot. And it's not a direct shot, but uh, just 100 ohms. Okay, uh, the second 8 pin is good. But this one has a 100 ohm shot. Um, so something uh, is shorted. So we might have to open it up and take a look. Okay, so the card has been disassembled. Uh, let's inspect the card. So visually, I'm not seeing anything suspicious. Uh, probably we might have to take a look under the microscope. Uh, even at the back, I don't see anything that is obvious. Let's put this under the microscope. Let's take a look uh, and check if we can find anything under the microscope. Okay, so there's nothing obvious under the microscope either. So probably we might have to inject some voltage, but uh, nothing that I can see. Nothing obvious. So everything looks good from the top, but uh, let's inject some voltage and uh, we'll take a look from there. Uh, let's check the resistance first. Let's start from the uh, 8 pin. So this one is uh, was fine, so I don't I won't see anything obvious, but this one is connected to the the first 8 pin on the left and that's the one that is showing short. Let's take a look at 5 volt. And 5 volt looks good. There's no short here. Let's take a look at 1.8. And 1.8 is fine. PEX. And PEX is good. So uh, the rest of the resistances is okay. So I'm going to connect a jumper here on this shunt resistor. 
and uh, inject voltage and see what we can find. Okay, so I've connected a jumper and uh, that's connected to the shunt resistor. So I'm going to inject some voltage and uh, see what we can find. So this is where I've connected. Uh, this one connects to the 8 pin, that's this one and uh, I'm going to inject voltage here. So let's find out. Injecting 1 volt and 4.5 amps. And I can see something lighting up. So there's something around in this area here. So it looks more like a capacitor but uh, let's take a closer look. So it's something around in this area here. So it's either this capacitor or this capacitor. That's what I assume right now. But uh, let's apply some isopropyl alcohol so, you know, we can pinpoint the exact one. Okay, injecting voltage again. Okay, it's still not clear. Let's try again. It's more towards the resistor and not towards the capacitors there. So what I feel is that it might not be any of the capacitors, but it could be this uh, analog uh, pre-filter. I feel it's this pre-filter here that's the culprit. Let's inject again. Okay, so uh, this particular chip is uh, the uh, pre-filter. It's a four-channel pre-filter. It's a US5650Q, a four-channel pre-filter. So uh, this one I suspect as a culprit and that's the one that could be shorted. So I'm going to lift this thing up and then we'll uh, take some measurements. Okay, so the uh, shorted MOSFET has, sorry, not the MOSFET, but the pre-filter has been removed. Let's check resistance. And our short is gone. Okay, let's replace another one. Okay, so uh, let's check the resistance again. And my multimeter decided to switch off. 
and you can see our shot is gone. Okay, so uh, let me take this wire off and uh, once we do that, I'll put this card on, my, on the test bench and check if this card now gets detected. Okay, so first, uh, let's do some cleaning. Let's get rid of the flux. Okay, so uh, the card is nice and clean. Let's put this on the bench and check if the card is detected. So the card is on the bench now. So I'm just going to boot and find out if uh, it uh, detects. Let me turn this thing on. Okay, booting the card now. Will we get a picture? Okay, that looks like the card is detected. Okay, we have a picture. That's good enough for me. Let's install the cooler. Okay, so the cooler has been installed, so I'm going to put this on the test bench back again and uh, stress test in Windows. So the card is on the bench. Let's boot it up. We have a picture. Let's put into Windows. Okay. Let's load the drivers. Or rather wait for the drivers to be loaded. Okay, so uh, the drivers have been installed and uh, it shows it's working properly. Okay, let's open GPU-Z and also Fermark and uh, just stress test the card just for a little while. So uh, there are no artifacts, so I don't want to stress the card. It's not required, but I will run a small test just to make sure that, you know, it's uh, utilized properly. Okay, let me move this on the right and uh, okay the sensors 
are all looking good. All information is filled up. There's nothing missing. Uh, let's take a look at the sensors. All looking good. Let's open Fermark now and run the stress test. So what do you think about this repair? Uh, do you think it's a simple repair, something that can be easily uh, you know, conducted? Or do you think it's, uh, it's a complicated one? Uh, so do share your thoughts on uh, what do you think about this repair? I hope you learned something uh, you know, from this repair. And uh, if you did, please share your thoughts in the comment section. I do make sure that I, you know, read all the comments and I also respond to all comments. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you like it, please hit the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye for now. Cheers.